Hello everyone, my name is Srishti and today we will talk some points about articles, specifically a and an. Most of the time I see people using these uh, articles at the wrong place. So I really felt the need of creating this video for all of you so that we can together understand what is the correct rule, how and where do we need to use these. So let's begin. Let's look at some of the examples here. A house, an animal, a student, a sport. It is a very clear fact that uh, a is used with some uh, consonants, particularly some objects, maybe some uh, uh, things that we are referring to. And when we have vowels, there we are using an. This was a very simple rule that was told to us when we were in our school. But sometimes we mix these articles and we use them at those places even where they are not required. So we will try to understand what is it that where, uh, what is it where we need to use these articles and where do we not to use it. So when I'm referring to house, cat, question or flower, I am using a. This means that I'm talking about one house, one cat, one question and one flower. If I talk in numeric sense, this is depicting that I'm talking about one particular object, one particular thing. So instead of using numeric one, I am using my article a, which is absolutely correct. So in all these examples, my Article a is correctly placed. Let's proceed further. A lemon, a window, a person, a chair. Similar to the previous examples, I'm referring to one lemon, one window, one person and one chair. So this is also absolutely correct. And notice that the words that are used here, they begin with a consonant. A book, a box, a table, a chair, a man, a woman, a child, a student. Therefore, a can be used with living beings. It can be used with non-living things. So where, wherever we need to denote something, one, we will be using the article a. Try to pronounce it as a. Sometimes people say it as a or a. Maybe it is not so appro appropriate in pronunciation. Therefore, Please remember the pronunciation too. Let's continue. Henry works in a bank. He works in a bank. However, I don't know the name of the bank. In the picture, it is giving me some clue, but I don't want to use the name. So I, I'm just saying in a generic sense, he works in a bank. Means he works in one bank. Similarly, that is a beautiful white flower one flower. There is a man in the swimming pool. There is an orange. Now, please notice that I am not using a orange. I am using an orange. Reason, O is a vowel sound. It is a vowel. Therefore, before all the vowels like A, E, I, O, U, I need to use an. The meaning will be similar. When I mentioned earlier that a is pointing to something which is one in quantity, an is also doing the same job. The difference is an is used before vowels and na, uh, a is used before the consonants, but they both will refer to one object, one person or one thing. Let me give you some examples for an, an apple, an elephant, an orange. There can be more examples, an island, an umbrella. Yes, I-S-L-A-N-N-D, that becomes island and not island because S is silent here. But the word is starting with I, which is a vowel. Therefore, I am using an island. Everywhere, the quantity is one. Just be careful of that. Now, let us try together. Where do we need to use a? or an from these pictures. Let's try an airport, a car, a house, a book, 
an old book please remember we are using some adjective here which is old o that is a vowel therefore i'm using an if the sentence would be i am using book then i can say i'm using a book but if it has an adjective old i have to put an because o is a vowel and the last one is a jacket simple right let's try for more pictures a potato a computer an orange a man a hat an umbrella but there lies some uh, points that we need to highlight we need to understand that we have certain words like h o u r our and h o n e s t as honest we do not pronounce them as hover hover or honest we pronounce them as our or maybe honest so the sound is o sound which is vowel and that is why i have to use an and i cannot use a let me give you a statement i came here an hour ago i am sleeping for an hour not a r it should be an r because i need to focus on the sound too as h is silent here i need to be particular with that the second example is university i am not using an university here i'm using a university or maybe when we will learn about the i can also put the university but an university will be absolutely incorrect because the sound becomes u sound the y u sound we need to focus on that as well so be careful whenever you witness certain words please don't get confused that we learned this rule so an university or a hour is correct please be careful please revise these things again and then use it properly we have more pictures where we need to fit in a and an with them an hour a university a horse an angry man a mountain a banana is a fruit basketball is a sport alfred is a teacher and blair is a florist so i'm sure now you are able to connect where are we using a and n and respectively so there can be different ways to use a and an we have some sentences for you paris is a city paris is a beautiful city both are correct a bee is an insect that is a tall building i am a student mike is an electrician please note here electrician that is the profession of mike but e that is a vowel so we need to use an before that so i'm just saying mike is one electrician in that sense if you want to understand so we in all the sentences we are depicting about something which is one in quantity a parrot is a bird now i am matching the pictures on the top with the pictures on the with the clues on the bottom i'm sorry a parrot is a bird a grape fruit is a fruit broccoli is a vegetable and football is a sport remember one thing i am not putting a before broccoli or football reason before any 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 names of the sports like football cricket hockey i don't have to use a and broccoli again i'm not uh, depicting about the quantity here i'm not saying one one broccoli or two broccoli i'm just saying broccoli is a sport in gen uh, i'm sorry broccoli is a vegetable so in generic sense i'm using here so i am not putting a before broccoli now what are these things let us try to match them together mont blanc is a beautiful mountain or is it is a mountain the usa is a country saturn is a planet london is a city let's talk about professions because uh, in professions also we need to use a or an sometimes so jane is a surgeon alex is a plumber Sylvia is a shop assistant. 
I have few more professions where I need to use an. I'll just come to that quickly. Andrew is an architect. Jake is a truck driver, and Julie is a police officer. Did you notice the difference in all the three sentences? I'm saying Andrew is an architect because architect A is a vowel. Therefore, I have to use an and not a. We also have other professions like engineer. He is an engineer. She is an architect. So remember, wherever you need to, uh, when, wherever you need to use a and an, you need to be super careful. Donald is a photographer. Sarah is a teacher. Andrea is a dentist. No vowel, so we did not have to use an here. Ravi is a hairdresser. Tom is an artist. Yes, you are right. Tom is an artist. And Jenny is an electrician. Vowel, so I'm using an. Let's match these together. Picasso was a famous painter. He was a Spanish painter. Do you want to try them together? Napoleon was a French emperor. Shakespeare was an English writer. Elizabeth was an English queen. I'm sure you have heard about these names. So I'm just matching their professions with each other. My focus is where I need to use a, where I need to use an. Let's fill up these blanks together. Alex wants to learn a foreign language. Trish works in a supermarket. Stuart can ride a bike or maybe a motorcycle. Tomorrow we are going to the birthday, I'm sorry, tomorrow we are going to a birthday party. The student wants to ask a question. It is raining outside, so please take an umbrella. So what are these things? How do you need to make sentences from these? Let me give you some examples. Ferrari is a car. John is a French man. English is a beautiful language. Piano is an instrument or it is a musical instrument. So like this, you need to apply them. Florence is a designer and an artist. Birmingham is a city in England. An orange has vitamin C. Mercury is a small planet. I'm a student at a university in Spain. William is waiting for a bus. Tennis is a sport. You can take pictures with a camera. You use a dictionary to understand the meaning of the new words. Look, I can see a plane in the sky. He jumped on the chair because he saw a mouse. The Nile is a river in Africa. Now, what are these people doing? Melissa is singing a song. Robin is eating an orange. Chris is playing a game. Mike is writing an email. Rachel is painting a picture. Helen is cutting an avocado. You need to make uh, more sentences. Let me help you. Einstein was a scientist. Gabriel was, do you know about the person? Okay, you try please. Uh, I'll leave it here. I want you to try all these. You just need to put the correct profession with the correct name. Just be careful of using a and an wisely. All right. I hope you enjoyed the session. I hope it was a valuable information for all of you. Please stay tuned with us for more videos like this. Like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and good day.